Hello, and welcome to another Hero Quest video. Today I'm going to be painting the Golem from the base game. I've undercoated the miniature white, and I'm going to start off by using Occultist Cloak that I'm going to mix 50 50 with Speed Paint Medium. And that is to thin it down and allow me to get a stone effect on the Golem. If you read the description of the Golem in the game, they say it's a stone statue, so I'm going to follow the card art and reproduce a stone statue here. It's kind of boring and it's really easy, but it gets the miniature done and I may paint one differently in the future, we'll see. As anybody who's been following my videos knows, I'm trying to stay true to the card art, at least for this base set. Some of the expansion miniatures and some third party miniatures that I may well paint in the future for the game, I will follow different colour patterns, different palettes and express myself a bit more. Remember that the colours that I'm choosing are not cast in stone pun intended. Um, choose whichever colours you like. There is no right or wrong way to paint this. I'm just choosing to keep it straightforward, basically for my players. The next colour up that I'm going to be using is called Astronomicon Grey. It's an old Games Workshop Foundation Grey. Any light grey will do, as long as it's a basic paint type and not a speed paint or a contrast paint because they will not dry brush. The whole thing here is to give this stone effect a good heavy dry brush with a lighter grey. Just remember to wipe most of the paint off your brush and you won't go wrong here. And if you're new to dry brushing, remember, go to your local pound shop Euro shop dollar store and buy some makeup brushes for ladies. They make great dry brushes. Now I'm determined to give this model some sort of colour so I'm going to put two red eyes on it just to, so it's not completely grey and dull and boring looking. So first colour is white and with a fine detail brush I'm going to dot two eyeballs and then I'll come back in with the red. If you make a mistake here, it's not the end of the world. It's very easy to fix. Just go back over it again with some more occultist's cloak colour. And the next colour up I'm going to use Poppy Red. It's a nice bright red colour from Army Painter Speed Paints range. And I'm just going to colour in the two white dots that I've put on for eyeballs. I did toy with the idea of painting the weapons silver to represent metal obviously but no it's a stone statue so it's going to have stone weapons as well that's my thinking And now I'm on to painting the base of the model and I'm going to use Adeptus Battle Grey. That's the colour I've been using from the start for my Hero Quest bad guys. Um, it's a nice dark grey without being overpoweringly dark. If you can't get a hold of this colour just use whichever colour you've chosen to use to paint the bases. You can get fancy with the bases if you wish but as I've said in previous videos I have ideas for the bases for a later date. And lastly it's time for some matte varnish. As I have stated in all my Hero Quest videos, I matte varnish all the models that I paint, whether it's furniture or figures, they get a good coat of matte varnish and that is to protect them 
because they're in and out of plastic trays. They will get damaged otherwise. And that's it, job done. And this was probably the easiest and quickest model I've painted in many years. Because I decided to follow the card art and what Hasbro were telling me, that it's a stone statue, I knew it would be really easy to paint. Had I went with the old Games Workshop style where it was a mini Bloodthirster, if anyone remembers the Bloodthirster from old Warhammer, it would have been more like a Balrog with flames and black and bronze and the stone statue is actually very easy to paint. You'll paint it in a few minutes. I didn't even speed this footage up a lot. I sped it up a bit for the sake of your time, but you can paint this model in 15 minutes. No problem. Your only real time is going to be waiting on the, the main base colour to dry so you can give it a good dry brush with the lighter grey. Hopefully this video has been of some use to somebody. Please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Click the wee bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. I would like to say thank you and I'll see you in the next video.